Welcome back to MMG Cars. Today I'm here to show you our stunning 2016 Porsche 911 Targa 4 GTS. It is finished in a beautiful rhodium silver metallic. And this does feature the GTS interior package. So inside you'll find a black and carmine red leather Alcantara interior. This vehicle has over $21,000 in options. Once again, that is the GTS interior package included as well as the seven speed Porsche PDK automatic transmission, just to name a few. I'm gonna go ahead and start here at the side. We have these very nice looking 20 inch Porsche center locking wheels finished in matte black. You can see the vented and slotted disc brakes as well as the red Porsche brake calipers. And right next to that, you can see the GTS decal on the side Moving along, one of the cool things about this vehicle is it is a Targa, so it is a convertible vehicle. However, it's not like most other convertible vehicles or even other convertible Porsches, as most other convertible Porsches are cabriolets. This is a Targa top, meaning that only the center portion where you see the canvas will come off when the roof is in the down position. And how this roof mechanism works is this entire glass piece back here will come up and the canvas portion will slide underneath that and stow away. This middle portion here with the Targa emblem serves as a fixed rollover protection beam. In the unlikely event that you get into a car accident and the vehicle flips over, this will keep you protected. It also acts as a wind blocker to help reduce air turbulence when you're driving the vehicle. Later on, I will demonstrate how the roof mechanism works. It's very interesting to see. Coming along towards the back here, we have a fully electronic rear spoiler that is operated with a button inside. It is in the up position currently, but it will sit flush against the rear of the vehicle. Just helps for aerodynamics as well as downforce. Coming along towards the back here, we see the quad tip exhaust. This vehicle has LED brake lights in the back. And once again, this is a Targa 4 GTS, meaning it is the four wheel drive variant. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the engine cover. So this is a rear engine vehicle. So obviously the engine is in the back. How this works is the entire glass portion of this roof here is going to come off, which will display the engine. I will demonstrate with this button here. If you hold this button down, the entire back will come off. As with most 911s, you don't get a great shot of the engine, were you able to see just the uh, essentials, top off your fluids, your oil. But it's very interesting to see how this sliding glass roof works. This vehicle features a 3.8 liter flat six engine that makes approximately 430 horsepower, 325 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 time is approximately 4.1 seconds. So very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. It is closed with the same button, just holding the same button down. And it'll slide back into place, just takes a second. Moving along here. One last thing I forgot to mention was that this vehicle does feature the sport exhaust which is a two-mode Valvetronic exhaust. Sounds very nice when the valves are open, when the valves are closed, it's much quieter. Since this is a rear engine vehicle, the front of the vehicle is reserved for trunk space. The front trunk or frunk can be opened with both the key fob here or from inside the vehicle by pressing this button. This will open the front trunk All you do is pull a tab to the side and it should open. 
This vehicle has very good trunk space for a coupe. It's much deeper than it looks. And there is the original owner's manual and handbook that the vehicle came with. I'm going to go ahead and close it now. Just a quick press and it will lock into place. We have a nice Porsche crest at the front of the hood as well. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the interior of this vehicle. I currently have the roof off, so it'd be easier to see the inside. Go ahead and open the door here. Once again, this vehicle features that very nice black and carmine red leather Alcantara interior with the GTS package. So you can see the very nice red stitching. Coming over the door here. We have several buttons that operate the automatic windows, as well as the power adjustable mirrors. And just above that, the memory seats. And down here, this vehicle does feature the Bose audio package. That's very nice. Coming down to the bottom, we have the Targa 4 GTS door sill plaque. And just above that, the buttons to operate the front trunk as well as open the engine cover. Looking at these seats here, these are the 18-way power operated sports seats. Once again, there's the leather with the middle part being Alcantara. You can see the GTS emblem embroidered onto the headrest. Once again, a part of the GTS interior package are these black seat belts with the red outline. And at the bottom here is to operate the power seats as well as the additional lumbar and bolster support. Stepping inside here, we're going to take the key fob. To the left of the steering column is a place to insert the key, foot on brake, and turn should start. Coming over to the left side here we have the buttons to operate the automatic headlights. If we take a look at the gauge cluster here, this vehicle has done approximately just over 35,000 miles. Fairly low. Looking at this nice steering wheel here, once again part of the GTS interior package, this steering wheel is wrapped in Alcantara. And it has a nice brushed aluminum paddle shifters as well as the controls for the cruise control. Coming along to the center here, we have the infotainment screen. So this is completely touch screen. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the tuner over here. So this is just for your radio presets. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the volume. Pretty basic controls here. This vehicle does have Bluetooth connectivity, so you can pair your phone to the vehicle, stream music from your phone, make or take calls, send messages. It also does come equipped with satellite navigation, but in the event that you want to just look at a map while you're driving, you may do so. And coming around to the bottom underneath the infotainment screen, I'm going to move the gear shifter out of the way just the basic controls for the radio and underneath that the controls for the climate control system it's pretty standard coming along to the gear shifter I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into park 
So this car features the seven speed dual clutch PDK transmission. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in drive here and that is in full automatic. If I go ahead and push the gear lever to the left, that is now in manual mode. So you can either shift up or down. That'll change the gears. You can also change the gears using the paddle shifters behind the wheel here as well. Go ahead and put this back into park. We have a nice Targa emblem right here on the gear, the gear shifter. And coming to the bottom here, we have different sports, uh, different settings for this vehicle. So you can put the vehicle into sport or sport plus. Also adjust the suspension depending on what mode you're in. This button here will turn off the traction control. Coming along to the right, we have the button to operate the electronically adjustable rear spoiler. As we saw earlier, and this vehicle does feature Porsche Sport exhaust. So there's a two mode Valvetronic exhaust right now is in the off position. If I press this button, it'll open the valves, the car becomes slightly louder. If I press it again, it'll close the valves, the car becomes quieter. The button right beneath it is the button for the auto start stop. So this function, when turned on, will allow the vehicle, when it comes to a stop at a stoplight or a traffic signal, will automatically shut the engine off and when it is time to proceed the engine will automatically kick back on. And then very important the buttons here in the middle operate the Targa roof. So right now the roof is open if I wanted to close the roof I would click this button here at the bottom this would operate the roof mechanism to close and if the roof was closed and I wanted to open it vice versa I would hit this button right here. Pretty simple. Just beneath that we have the small 12 volt charger and right next to it. Small compartment space with another 12 volt, 12 volt port to charge your accessories. And then coming along up here, we have the vanity lights, two of them, as well as the universal garage door opener. These can be programmed to open your garage door. And then looking just above the windscreen, we have this beam up here. And this only comes up when the roof is down. And this just, once again, adds function as a wind blocker and just to reduce the air turbulence when you're driving the vehicle with the roof down. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the back seats of this vehicle, but one quick thing before we do that, I just wanna show something behind this carbon fiber like trim here on the dash. This vehicle does have cup holders. These are foldable cup holders that kind of pop out. So we got two of them, one for the passenger and one for the driver as well. And they just stow away in the dash like so. Very nice. And coming along to this side here, in order to access the back seat, you just pull up on the small latch here and that will give access to the rear. Once again, this car features the black and carmine red leather Alcantara interior from the GTS package. And it has that nice red stitching with the black and red outline seat belts. And in the center here, we just have a small storage space. And then we're gonna go ahead and close the seat. So once again, this is our 2016 Porsche 911 Targa 4 GTS. You can see more pictures of this vehicle at our online website, mmgcars.com. And if you have any questions or inquiries, you can call, text, or email us, and we'd be happy to help you.